Chapter 13 Supergirl ran after Barbara. About to call out to her, she spied her friend slipping into a broom closet at the far end of the hallway, the one filled with Parasite's cleaning supplies. Huh? It didn't make sense. Supergirl could see a red laser emitting its bright light from a panel. Bab stood still as it scanned her. Bat access granted, a woman's voice said evenly. Another door inside the closet door slid open, and Barbara stepped inside, closing the door firmly behind her. Suddenly, Supergirl could see right through the wall. Her X-ray vision was going in and out like her super hearing. Supergirl spotted a handwritten sign that read, Information Technology, IT Annex, Barbara Gordon, Proprietor. Past that was another room, whose walls were lined with floor-to-ceiling shelves of neatly cataloged devices and gadgets. Supergirl couldn't believe it when Babs pushed yet another button and a bank of shelves electronically rotated until they were directly in front of her. The windowless room reminded her of a cave, albeit a super high-tech one. Not wanting to spy, but wishing to comfort her friend, Supergirl walked toward the broom closet. Just as she reached the door, the bell rang. Instantly, the hall was flooded with boisterous students who swept Supergirl up in their wake and deposited her at superheroes throughout history. Her talk with Barbara would have to wait. Your family history reports should also include what it is in your background that makes you uniquely qualified to be a superhero. Liberty Bell instructed. Supergirl looked at her fellow supers. Unlike her, they all seemed to fit right in and had everything figured out. Any questions? Liberty Bell asked. Supergirl admired the Liberty Bell emblem that was knit neatly into her sweater. It gave her an idea. She raised her hand. There was one place that had most of the answers you could ever hope to find. May I be excused to go to the library to do some research? As Supergirl made her way past the science lab, the hall monitor stopped her. I need to see your ID, please, Hawk Girl said. You know who I am, Supergirl reminded her. Yes, but I am officially on hall monitor duty, and one can never be too safe, Hawk Girl said. She was a stickler for the rules. ID, please. I need to know you're not a SWAHP. A what? Supergirl said. Student without a hall pass. Hawk Girl informed her. But it's me, Supergirl protested. There are rules and there are rules, and this is the rule, Hawk Girl said with a stern look. After being given the official go-ahead to proceed, the young Kryptonian was greeted warmly by Granny Goodness. I was hoping to see you again, the elderly librarian said. She smelled like freshly baked cookies. What can I help you find? I'm not really sure. Supergirl said haltingly. Come, come, Granny said. Her sensible rubber-soled shoes matched her sensible short gray hairdo. Follow me. Let's go into my office. Well-worn books lined the shelves in Granny's office. Granny settled in behind her messy desk. Next to a cookie jar was a black and white photo of an attractive young couple and their twins. Your grandchildren? Supergirl asked pointing to the children. Granny Goodness shook her head. The photo came with the frame, she said, chuckling. But let's talk about you. Munching on a cookie, Supergirl told Granny how she'd ended up at Superhero High. She could see the old lady's eyes start to well up with tears. Dear child, Granny said, reaching for a tissue. We have so much in common. I was an orphan too. An orphan? Supergirl had never thought of herself as an orphan, but technically, Granny was right. This made her heart ache even more. Unlike you, though, Granny confided, I came from a poor family, and while many looked down on me, there was one person who looked past my meager upbringing, took me in, and raised me. For that, I shall be forever grateful and indebted. Granny stopped and stood with the aid of her cane. She patted Supergirl's shoulder. We're two of a kind, Supergirl, she said. If you need someone to talk to, you know where to find me. Oh, look at the time. 
You best get back to class, dear. And here, take some of my cookies for yourself and all your friends.